our relationship as responders with a threat actor can take on a couple of different forms. It can be a direct relationship sometimes. Typically that happens whenever, for example, there's a ransomware case, and that's when a threat actor literally holds the, an organization's data hostage in demand for a, for a ransom payment to release decryption keys. In, in a case like that, we would, uh, of course, after consulting the organization, the client is uh, you know, weighing up the pros and cons, the client may make a decision to go ahead and negotiate. Where we would come in at that point is that we would initiate contact with the threat actor and potentially, if the client wants us to, negotiate that ransom. So, I'm not sure I'd call it a relationship as much as a direct interaction with the threat actor. Another form, another form of interaction, if you will, with the threat actor is an indirect one. Whenever we do effect a response, we have to do it in as informed a way as possible. So what that means is that we are always in constant game of researching threat actors, tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, to be able to really understand what they're up to, what are their new trades, what's their new trade craft. And uh, we'll be playing really a constant game of intelligence and counterintelligence where we're learning as much as we can about them, they're learning as much as they can about us so that we can outsmart each other basically.